Hello, viewers, viewers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Harvest. Today, joined by Jacob the Lord of Malts. And today, we're going to be looking at another Clown Shoes beer. And this is one that we just recently got it in, in that Ul Consortium. Yes. And this is their Jenkins Pecan Pecan Pie Porter. Now, this is this, uh, like the, the improved version of their Pecan Pie Porter. Uh, and I just love that label. Jenkins Khan fighting. <laughs> uh, uh, turkeys with clown shoes and he's fighting them with pecan pies but it's a seven percent porter made with toasted pecan nuts and, and brown sugar yeah. seven percent porter let's get this one cracked open so we got the clown shoes jengis pecan board it's pretty dark i mean yeah. when i poured it you could see some reddish notes but the sun is kind of setting now yeah. so uh, we're catching the very last rays now yeah so you don't really get too much light through the beer, but um, it's a black color. It's got a tan head. Yeah, let's check out the other one. Definitely oh. picking up a brown sugar. Yeah. I don't know if it's like especially pecan, but like a general toasted nuttiness. Yeah, uh, kind of like the nuttiness you could get from toasting malt. Yeah. And also this should be noted that this is a one year old bottle by now. So this is not fresh at all. So, but um. I'm definitely picking up on those pecan nuts, or pecan nuts, just general nuttiness. Chocolate, roasty, toasty nuts, yeah, notes, oak, kind of, almost oak. Yeah, almost like a woodiness. Touch of alcohol, maybe, too, yeah. and some sweet, sugary, sweet notes, almost like milky notes, for yeah. some reason. And maybe a vanilla tinge to it. Yeah. I mean, it. I don't know if it smells, I've never had pecan pie. So I can't say if it tastes like, it smells like pecan pie, but, no. but there's also I've had the pecan nut. There's also some spicy notes. Yeah, like a slight spicy note in there, but I didn't say the most. Do you want to give it a taste? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, a lot of, lot of nutty notes. Definitely yeah. the pecan is shining through. The mouthfeel is kind of lighter than I thought. Yeah, much lighter than uh, I expected too. I'm sorry, there's a plate up there. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the mouthfeel is a, li it's a little lighter than I thought, but the, there's a kind of nuttiness going through. Yeah, and yeah. definitely you can taste the pecan nuts for sure, I think. Yeah. It's like this toasted pecan kind of flavor, yeah. um, along with a, maybe a hint of vanilla and then some sugary brown sugar notes. It's not the most complex of porters. No, not at all. It, but it really... Uh, displays the nut. Yeah, it's, it's, really it's got nice a lot way. of pecan yeah. flavor. And that's the, like the most dominant flavor in here is a toasted or roasty pecan flavor along with some of the sugar notes and then you get the rest of the like the more traditional silky porter flavors. Yeah, but it doesn't feel off. Oh no, and it, even yeah. though it's old, it, I don't feel like it tastes like it's missed mm. all, missing a lot of flavor or anything. No. I mean, it might have had more brown sugar and pecan flavor when it was fresh, but I'm not sure. A little bit of, a little bit of a Slight caramel flavor in there as well. It's not the most complex of porters, but it just tastes so much like pecan nut. Yeah. I mean, it's good, but it's not anything I'm like, wow, must try. Um, if you think about the the other spiced beers, I'm, I'm not sure if this is an autumn seasonal. I guess it is. Yeah. yeah but oh, well, no, it was from May, so maybe this is just a year-end release. Yeah. But, um... A May last year. Yeah, yeah May last year, so it's, it probably is. Oh, it almost has, like, a hint of spice, too. Yeah, but kind of like... In pumpkin pie, it's kind of like a pie-ish. Yeah, but not, not as much. Pie. I mean, it's not as much in something as in something like yeah, pumpkin, pumpkin. King, no, which no. is just crazy and awesome. <laughs> but but it still have that kind of like spicy, spicy yeah. note. Yeah, so it's more not balanced, but it's more yeah, it's, it's more balanced. More, yeah, more balanced and more beer and porter like than like tasting like an exact pie. That said, it's still pretty good beer. I mean, it's yeah. nothing I'm overjoyed by, and it's nothing I'm overly disappointed by. Uh, or anything, but it's just a really nice solid porter with a lot of pecan or very toasty nutty flavors. Uh, rating wise, I'm gonna go 82. It's not the best I've had from Clown Shoes. I mean, my favorite is still Blake or Nuni Dragon and Vampire Slayer. But we'll see. I have the Chocolate Sombrero to review as well, which should be interesting. So, or we have. So, yeah, 82 for me. It's 85. I have not, nothing much else to say. It's not overly complex of it for a porter, and that's just the way I like it. Kind of like just 
Mm, a great catching this La Sonre beer. <laughs> Um, yeah. So 85. Yeah, not much. Pecan nut, nice. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that does it for the clown shoes. Jenkins pecan. Pecan pie porter. <laughs> uh, definitely let us know what you think of this one, guys, if you've had it. Does it taste like pecan pie fresh? Or is it just a lot of pecan nuts? Let us know. Uh, yeah, guys, as always, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and we're going to say cheers. cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.